optic part an optic part of the retina is the actual retina which receives the light and generate action potentials look carefully here look the optic part of the retina here you know that at the aura serrata the rods and cones will stop and will not go forward and also here and also you know that eye is a globe right so at the aura serrata whenever if the light falls in this direction at your what uh, a retina you know that here is here are rods and cones present if the light falls uh, here you know that rods and cones are present here if the light falls here you know that rods and cones are present here right so where at the part of the retina which contains rods and cones that will generate action potential at that point image will be formed right so we say that is the optic part of the retina right so that part of the retina will contain all the three layers what three layers that will contain that will contain retinal pigment epithelium yeah we know here the retinal pigment epithelium then it will contain the rods plus cones and that will also contain what the neural layer the neural layer done then there is the ciliary part of the retina yes we know that ciliary part right so this part of the retina is present behind your ciliary body and it contains what it contains the retinal pigment epithelium and the uh, yeah and the neural part but rods and cones will not go forward right so we say the ciliary part of your retina contains only the retinal pigment epithelium and the neural layer and the part of the retina which is present behind the iris that is called the iridal part or we say the yeah iridal part so this part also you know that does not contain the rods and cones right so this part also contains the retinal pigment epithelium and the neural layer of the retina so retina has three important parts the optic part the ciliary part and the iridal part yes we know that these are the parts of the retina now the next important point point is the what is the ocular fundus ocular fundus look carefully if you are standing here right and through an ophthalmoscope you are looking at the eye this is the uh, the yeah the cornea right you are standing here and you are looking at the eye right and you directly look at the sclera i'm sorry the retina for example if this is the eye right and you have an ophthalmoscope in your hand and you are looking at the eye so you will look through the cornea let's come there you will look through the cornea you will look through the anterior chamber the posterior chamber the lens and you will look through the vitreous body and you will look through directly into the retina right so the part of the retina which you can see through ophthalmoscope that is called the ocular fundus what is ocular fundus ocular fundus is the part of the retina which you can see through your ophthalmoscope that is all so the part of the retina around the optic disc we can also say that here is your optic disc and this part and this part of your retina is your actual uh, ocular fundus you can see all these parts of your retina but you cannot see this part right so the part of retina around optic disc that is called your ocular fundus once again if you look directly into the eye through ophthalmoscope you will first of all see the optic disc then you can also see around the optic disc all these parts so retina is a globe right if this is the retina right 
let me show you here this part will be the optic disc right and you are looking from here so you will see first of all the optic disc and then you can see this part this part this part this part and all those parts of the retina that you can see that is called the ocular fundus and the next important thing about retina is the optic disc what is the optic disc look carefully friends let me draw the structure from interior side Let me draw a diagram here which shows uh, we are looking at the uh, at the retina from interior side how will it look look at here this is your eyeball right and you are exactly looking at the retina now what will you see look carefully here you will see a small depression and through this dip okay let me uh, show you that this is a very small depression as you can see here or if we draw two eyes look carefully first of all let me draw two eyes here this is an eye here is an eye and this is your nose right and you are looking at both eyes now here you will see a small depression and here also you will see a small depression into your both eyes now look carefully this is your nose right and both the depressions are nasally right i will write it nasally right so it means towards the nose like this you will look at ophthalmoscope you have in your hand and you will look so you will find both the optic disc like this medially or nasally right so that point this is called this uh, this small depression nasally on the retina is called the optic disc now what is optic disc the point through which the neural fibers will move back look carefully very simply very simply at this point all these fibers which collect from the retina and the, all these fibers which get united at the surface of the retina and we leave the eye that point is called your optic disc now we say that look carefully we say that all those neural fibers will leave the eye through this optic disc so what is optic disc the point the point where neural fibers leave the eye as what as optic nerve that point is called the optic disc that's so simple friends next what is blind point look at here blind point let me write it there blind spot or blind point blind spot yeah blind spot now look look here again this is your eye and this is the optic disc for example right you are looking at the retina and you find this depression nasally and if this is your other eye right so you will find the depression here and these two depressions are called the optic disc now look carefully at the center of this optic disc you will find another small depressed area and that depressed area is called the blind spot and why it is called blind spot because it does not contain any rods any cones right so we say what is uh, what is blind spot small depressed central part of what of optic disc is called okay so we say it does not contain does not contain any rods and cones right so what is blind spot it is blind because it does it cannot see anything so the blind spot is 
first of all blind spot is present in your optic disc in the center of your optic disc the 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 point where there is no rods and no cones that point is called the blind spot and around the blind spot right the neural fibers will leave the eye and will come out through this point and will go to the nervous system so that is the blind spot done then there is the next important point that is called the macula lutea macula lutea lutea means yellow right let's go for the power look at here friends here are your two eyes right and this is your nose right now look carefully nasally you will see a depression and this depression is called optic disc and here also right then a little bit lateral and inferiorly right a little bit lateral and inferiorly you will see here another depression and this depression is called the macula lutea friends we are looking at your uh, retina remember this my dear friends we are looking at the retina so the most important thing we should remember friends look carefully i have taken this piece of the eye this yellow colored part of the eye is called your retina now you are looking at the retina internally you will see that this part is called the optic disc now little bit lateral to little uh, lateral and inferior inferior laterally you will see another depressed part right as this is i think your left eye yeah this is our left eye now you will see the depression here and you can see if uh, i will draw it uh, that will be drawn in that the look right so that will be drawn here so you will see this important point inferior laterally this is our right eye right this is our right eye as the optic disc is little what little and nasally so you will find here a spot inferior laterally you will find here a spot a yellow spot and that is called the macula lutea i hope you understood that so macula lutea is a uh, central okay we say that the macula lutea is actually actually if you draw it correctly that is present a little bit in the center of your retina in the center of the retina but we say that it is present inferior lateral to the optic disc that's okay friends so macula lutea appears uh, yellowish area right and its diameter is about uh, uh, 5 to 6 millimeter is its diameter then the next important point it has a central depression it has also as the optic disc had a central depression which was called the blind spot and macula lutea also have central depression called what that is called the fovea centralis look here is the central depression of the macula lutea and that is called what that is called the fovea centralis and the fovea centralis is the point where there are lots of cones present there are lots of cones present here yeah, we know that here is lots of cones present in fovea centralis now let me draw another diagram and i will show you all these important points look friends you are looking at the eyes these are the two eyeballs and this is your nose right i hope you understand here you have your optic disc and also here is your optic disc right optic disc now in the center of the optic disc you have another small depression and this is called the blind spot right what is this this is optic 
disk and I have written what is optic disk I have written here then this central small depression is called the blind spot right and a little bit lateral right a little bit inferior lateral to the optic disc you have another yellowish part and this yellowish part is called the macula lutea macula lutea and in the center of this macula lutea there is another depression depressed part and this is called the fovea centralis right this is the point where you can see all the colors right this is the point where there is the, the vision at this point is very sharp right so we say sharp vision this point sharp vision this is the point for sharp vision right so this is fovea centralis the macula lutea and the optic disc and other things now look carefully what are the differences between the macula lutea and the optic disc first of all the macula lutea has yellow color right then uh, the, the the surface area or the diameter of the macula lutea is five to six millimeter and the diameter of the optic disc is one to two millimeter right then the next important thing the macula lutea has a central depressed part which is called fovea centralis and the optic disc has a central depressed part this is called blind spot next the macula lutea has the central depressed part which contains lots of rods and cones but the blind spot has no rods no cones next important thing the macula lutea is avascular it does not contain any vessels but the blind spot through the blind spot your central retinal artery will arise and it will give a branch superior branch and inferior branch then there will be a nasal branch and a temporal branch and a temporal branch and a nasal branch so you will differentiate between the macula lutea and the optic disc the first differentiation point is that the macula lutea is avascular but the optic disc has the main vessel of the eye that is called the uh, central retinal artery now if if i draw a diagram from the lateral side this is your eye and this is the optic canal right and here is your cornea now look carefully here is your ophthalmic artery for example and from ophthalmic artery there is a branch which separates and pierces the sclera and enters the eye right and you know that this point is your optic disc now the central retinal artery will arise through the optic disc and it will give a branch superior branch inferior branch then it will give a nasal branch and a temporal branch and this one will also have a nasal branch and temporal branch so here is your central retinal artery arising temporal branch nasal branch temporal branch and nasal branch right friends so these were some differences between the macula lutea and optic disc right so the important features of the retina are discussed i hope you like the lecture now friends in the next lecture i will discuss about the structure of the retina that will contain what are the cells which are present in the retina and then we will discuss what are the layers of the retina and then we will go further forward towards other structures of the eye so hope so you like the lecture and please share these videos with your friends also see you in the next lecture till then Allah Hafiz